chance and probability. In this module, you will learn about chance and probability. We face a lot of situations in our day-to-day -day life where we take a chance and it does not go the way we want it to. Like for example, sometimes it happens that during rainy season, you carry a raincoat every day and it does not rain for many days. However, by chance, one day you forget to take the raincoat and it rains heavily on that day. Even while buying a ticket online, which is in waiting list, you take a chance, hoping that it might get confirmed by the time you travel. These are examples where the chances of a certain thing happening or not happening are not equal. You might have seen that before a cricket match starts, captains of the two teams go out to toss a coin to decide which team will bat first. When a coin is tossed, there are two possible outcomes, heads or tails. Imagine that you are the captain of one team and your friend is the captain of the other team. You toss a coin and ask your friend to make the call. Can you control the result of the toss? Can you get a head if you want one? Or a tail if you want that? No, that is not possible. Such an experiment is called a random experiment. Heads or tails are the two outcomes of this experiment. Let's do an experiment. Toss a coin 50 times and note number of heads and tails obtained. We see that results are nearly equal. If we perform this experiment for 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100 times and note the outcomes of heads and tails, we'll observe that if we increase the number of tosses more and more, the number of heads and the number of tails comes closer and closer to each other. Similarly, if we perform such an experiment with a dice for 100 times or more, we'll observe that number of each of the six outcomes becomes almost equal to each other. In such cases, we may say that the different outcomes of the experiment are equally likely. This means that each of the outcomes has the same chance of occurring. We know that when a coin is tossed, there are two possible outcomes, that is, heads and tails. We say that the probability of the coin landing head is half and the probability of the coin landing tails is half. Both the outcomes are equally likely. Similarly, while throwing a dice, there are six possible outcomes. One, two, three, four, five and six. Thus, there are six equally likely outcomes. The probability of any one of them is one by six. In such cases, we may say that the different outcomes of the experiment are equally likely. This means that each of the outcomes has the same chance of occurring. Event means one or more outcomes in the experiment of tossing a coin. Getting a head is an event and getting a tail is also an event. That is, each outcome of an experiment or a collection of outcomes makes an event. In case of throwing a dice, getting each of the outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6 is an event. Is rolling an even number in a dice an event? Since an even number could be 2, 4 or 6, so getting an even number is also an event. Then, can be the probability of getting an even number. Let's calculate from 1 to 6, there are 3 even numbers. That is 2, 4 and 6. 
do its probability would be number of outcomes that make the event divided by the total number of outcomes of the experiment that is 3 divided by 6 equal to half now given there are 5 marbles in a bag 4 are green and 1 is yellow what is the probability that a green marble gets picked number of ways it can happen is 4 as there are 4 green marbles total number of outcomes is 5 as there are 5 marbles in total so the probability would be 4 divided by 5 equals to 0 0.8 let us see the use of probability is made in various cases in real life a game spinner with four sections there is a 25 percent chance of it landing red since one of the four sections is red similarly the odds of rolling one dice and getting an even number there is a 50 percent chance since three of the six numbers on a dice are even in medical decisions also probability is used when a patient is advised to undergo surgery they often want to know the success rate of the operation which is nothing but a probability rate based on the same the patient takes a decision whether or not to go ahead with the same when planning an outdoor activity people generally check the probability of rain meteorologists also predict the weather based on the patterns of the previous year temperatures and natural disasters are also predicted on probability and nothing is ever stated as a surety but a possibility and an approximation therefore even though we do not realize the use of mathematical probabilities in everyday life subconsciously we use it in every step that we take the use of real life probability is a huge area of research and development since it is an ever evolving field. Let us revise all that we have learned in this module chance and probability.